so today we are doing a makeup look for these products um, and these I got some I got some new stuff like this elf stay cool primer stick this seems really cool I got this new eyeshadow by wet n wild um, color icon and nude awakening um so I'm gonna use some new products and some old products and I have for foundation the revolution relove whatever super serum haven't tried this but we're gonna try it so we have some products to try we got some oldies but goodies so let's get started like I said we're using the elf stay cool primer stick let's see how this works I mean it's really cooling and it feels like it says it has water in it and I would believe that because it, it feels like water going on your skin so that's nice all right and then for my glow factor we're using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion and 901 Fair Glow this all too often my sister swears by this one but I prefer my Charlotte Tilbury one just because of the glow factor it gives me and it looks great under my foundation how does it look going to use these today. Alright. We're using these ears today. So we're going to use the Revolution Re Relove, whatever it is, um, foundation. I have this in, this is a Super Serum Hyaluronic Acid Foundation. I have this in F1. Dang, it's hard to come out. But let's see how this works. Um, I'll never be able to rejoin my father's 
Bronzer, we're using the Milani Cheap Kiss in Hey Honey. As y'all can see, I love this bronzer. This is like my new favorite. We're using the Milani Cheek Kiss in Coral Crush. I haven't used this one in a while, so we're gonna. I cleaned my brushes last night too. So, and I'm sorry for the lack of videos. I've been focusing on school and trying to really do that um, because the summer semester is shorter than regular semester so they've doubled up the work and stuff so I've been focusing on school and trying to get that taken care of um, for concealer we're using the REM Beauty REM REM whatever and um, concealer in Fair 2 in powder mm, my dog toot it and it stinks <laughs> um, for under eye powder we're using the airbrush brightening flawless finish complexion perfecting eye and face micro powder this is in fair medium this is like the lot shade Oh, 
I don't think that concealer agreed with me. It's like really crepey. Because it's not the powder. The powder's normally good. I don't ever really use this concealer. And now I know why. So. We will probably declutter the concealer. Okay. And then for face powder. We're using the CoverGirl Clean and Fresh. Um pressed powder and this is in porcelain I love this powder We're all powdered. Now we need setting spray, which I had most everything on, on my desk, but I didn't apparently grab setting spray. Hmm, let's see. We're going to use the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. quite a few setting sprays so and for um, powder bronzer we're using the NYX um, buttermilk bronzer this is in buttercup I love these bronzers looks like this I have this hourglass quad um it has surreal effects brilliant nude blush um lucid glow and infinite flush so I think we're gonna go these two shades right here. Oh, we're going to add in the extra pink one too. For highlighter, we're using the LYS Aim High Highlighter in Brave. 
I hope it's not too dark for me. I haven't used this in a while, so I don't know. it's nice I like it I'm down with that this is decent so um eyebrows we haven't used my one size um brow kiki in blonde in a while so that's what we're going to use hold, hold on let me We're going to use the NYX Thick It Stick It Brow Mascara, and this is in Cool Blonde. So normally I just do my brows off camera, but I'm trying to perfect my brows. And I learned from um, Robert on YouTube, the British Robert, the twin, and um, that you need to back do your eyebrow gel too, so that it. Um, So that it fills in both directions. And then it doesn't take as much pencil to fill in. So There we go. There we go. Alright. So let's see. I primer. Let's look and see what we have. We'll use the mix. Wait, what is this?
This is the NYX um, Shadow and Liner Primer uh, Ultimate Base. I don't think it comes in a color, so. So, we have our eye primer. Hold on one moment. Okay, sorry about that. My camera was fixing to stop. Okay, I have my Wet n Wild palette open because last night I was trying to um, look at the colors and swatch them. The mattes are really nice. The shimmers, uh, they're okay. But this palette was like $5.99, I think, or $4.99, something like that. I got it at HEB, the grocery store here. And so, um, I'm going in with this color right here as a crease color. Um, so, let's fill you in on some stuff here. Like I said, I'm um, school in this semester, um, which is summer semester. I have like three weeks left. I think it no maybe two and then I'm off for a couple weeks and then fall semester starts which I'm ready but I'm not ready at the same time but I've got this you know I, I've always got this but um we're also preparing to move um like um we're our lease is up in february and we are currently in the waco area and of texas and then so we're moving back to the fort worth area so I have slowly started um, getting all my doctors together and um, I have an appointment with the PCP in October because that's as soon as I could get in. Um, I have an appointment with the pain management specialist which you know I have a pain management specialist. Um, I have one with the psychiatrist. I'm using this color right here. Um, but yeah, I'm slowly but surely trying to get everything moved to the Fort Worth area because that's where we're going to be. I'm going to go to school on, on campus at um, Tarleton because they have Fort Worth campus. Um, So, but yeah, I'm trying to get everything situated and ready because I don't want the long process. I want to be able to just go and get moved into my house. Um, that was the Wet n Wild palette. I, I'm only using two colors from it. Well, actually, I'm going to use three because I'm going to use um, this skin tone color in a minute to um, blend all of it out.
but I am going to use the Flower Beauty Desert Lights um, Shadow Palette. These are so beautiful. I haven't used them in a while. I think I'm going to go with this color right here. I'm using this color to blend out the top. to do the lower lash line where I finally found my lunar beauty brush the LVE, LVE 6 which is this really small pencil brush this shade right here There we go. So that was using this palette and this palette together. These palettes, this is actually a really nice palette for, like I said, $5.99 or something like that. I don't remember. Don't quote me. Like I said, I got it at HEB. So. Alright. Got my setting spray going so also like I said I'm doing the school thing we're moving and one of my videos I'm fixing to do is my office tour it's a mess right now and I'm gonna call it messy office tour so it's 
sorry, I'm digging in my eyeliners. So I am going to use the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. This is in the multi-chrome. The shade is Pixie. It looks like this. Alright. And then for um, mascara, I decided to go with an old one that I have. I'm trying to use all my mascaras up. Um, with this look, I probably would have gone with my Burgundy Maybelline Sky High. But I'm trying to use what's in my makeup stash. So this is the Milani Highly Rated Lash Extension Mascara. I like this one. This one's not bad. But... Anyway, so back to what I was saying is I'm going to do an office tour, but be mindful that it's in a state of disarray. My niece and nephew were here for the 4th of July and they tore my office up because when like when my brother's here during the week, which he's not going to be here in the month of July because he has his kids all month, um, he stays in here. So the bed looks half made and stuff and so when my niece was here I was like you gonna stay in daddy's room she was like yeah daddy's room and my nephew and my niece tore it up I had to re-put all my desk back together I had to re-put um some of my Legos back together because they tore them up alright Alright. There we go. 
definitely have to clean. Oh, look, I got to way down here too. Way to go. I'm going to have to clean that up. All right. So, what do we do for lips here? Huh. No, that's not Milky Gloss. Um, let's do the next. This is Milky Gloss and Chocolate Shake. is the NYX Milky Gloss and Chocolate Shake. This is the look. What do y'all think? See what it looks like with the glasses. Yeah, this foundation is nice. See that? See, like this is nice. It matches and everything like that. So, and it looks decent. You see? So, like. But, so, this is the finished look. There's some updates, some anything like that that you want to know. Just ask, and I will tell you. Alright, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, put it in the comment section down below. Thank you.